Welcome to Ninja Mobile's Art. Here we have the body mounted on its brackets on the chassis. And as you can see, I've cut 40 millimeter of clearance around the wheels, which is practical because it means the wheels can move without rubbing on the body. But it um, looks a bit unfinished. So to make it look tidy again, I'm going to make some little carbon mudguard flares to bring the wheels back inside the body. I've ended up deciding on a clearance of 50 millimetres around the tyre, probably slightly more than you need, but I might want to put radials on there one day which are a bit bigger. So there's a lump of um, form ply with the arc of the arch marked on it, uh, which we'll cut out and make a mudguard uh, wheel arch mould. There's the beginnings of our wheel arch mould, a piece of form ply with a piece of aluminium wrap around the edge of it and the only sort of subtle piece in there is the fact that that hangs down by 20 mil to make this surface slightly conical just to avoid it being a straight extruded cylinder and give it a bit more shape and character. Here's our wheel arch mould ready for painting. It's now got a little um, fillet made out of uh, just body filler which has gone in there to give it a bit more shape rather than just have it with a 90 degree corner, 90 degree edge. So that goes in with um, that little tool with a 15 degree chamfer on it to make a 15 degree fillet like so. And that little tool with a sort of 15 mil radius which goes like that and makes the radius in the corner and then a little curved sanding block with some sandpaper over it obviously to help flatten it out and to sand the radius in the corner a little bit of fuel hose with some paper wrap around it so that's ready to paint and we'd be about done here's our kit of bits ready to make a wheel arch so our mould now has been painted red that's a, it's red because it's a Edge primer that stick to the aluminium and a generous coating of beeswax and mold release, disposable brush, something to mix the resin in, resin and hardener, disposable gloves, digital weighing scale for getting the resin quantity right, and here's our carbon fibre cloth, two, bit, two by two twill that drapes nicely, the uh, glass cloth, same, this is the same layup as the body. So carbon, glass, glass, carbon around there. And just to make the edge a little bit stiffer, got a row of this um, nice 50 millimeter carbon tape, which is a lovely product because it's nice and tidy. It doesn't get all the nasty edges on this. The only downside is the fact that where the fibers go back and forth, you end up with a little bit of a thick bit at the edge. But for this job, it's fine. And we start mixing resin and making a mess. Here's our finished laminated wheel arch. That's about an hour's work to uh, lay that up and join with me while we try and extract it from the mould, hopefully in one piece, without scratching the mould because we need to use it again in a minute to make another one for the other side of the car. One wheel arch, unashamedly copied from a 289 AC Cobra. So here's our little wheel arch moulding, unashamedly copied from a 289 Cobra. And fits in there, will fit in there, something like that. 
tidy things up enormously. And here are our finished wheel arches, laminated in place. Just about the width of the tyre and filling up that big gap that we cut out before. Front and rear, just a couple of strips of, three strips of carbon wet laid up over the join, which looks a bit more tidy than how it was. And I'm pleased to say adds a huge amount of stiffness to the body and to hold the sides of the body in place and put some little sills down there. Also, so you also so you don't see the space frame chassis poking out. There you go. Just about ready to drive it.